Hi everyone, my name is Paul. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Orlando, Florida. And today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do the opening flag hit from Carolina Crown's 2011 program, Rockstar. So back in May, I actually did this video and that was a part of my Crown Guard throwback series that I just finished. So I went all the way back from 2019 to 1990 doing Crown Guard work and people requested a tutorial. And now that school's over, I can focus on it. The difficulty of this piece really isn't that hard. I will say that the hardest part is the beginning because it's fast. The prep into the double 45 is really hard. But other than that, it's actually pretty doable. Um, we don't have to do the drill, thank God, because we're not in drill court. And um, you can just learn this for fun. I think it's, it's great exercise and I think it's just a lot of fun knowing a little piece of crown guard or any drum corps that you really, you really like. Without further ado, let's get started. So the count structure I'm going to be using is 16, 16, 10, 8, plus 1. So we're going to start with our flag build up. We're going to be in a lunge on our right side. Our flag is going to be at a shoulder hip angle. The tip of the flag is in front of my left heel. And my right hand is grabbing thumb facing the flag on top of top tape. We're going to unfurl the flag. And to do this, um, it might be easier with gloves because of friction, but I usually try to do like a loose C shape or an OK symbol with all your fingers to make sure that the flag stays in this angle as you unfurl on 7-8. You want to lock your elbow that way you really try to maintain this angle and you also want to think pulling up rather than out so that way the flag doesn't go this way so it'll be five and six and seven and eight yeah from here we're going to take our left hand onto the tab and we're going to push going towards the back so from here we're going to make a big circle with our top crutch tip like this yeah and notice that the crutch tip stays normal right it's not sucking or anything it's just from here I just push it up and down from here we're gonna grab left hand on top of the tab again we're just gonna help it guide it into our right armpit so again from here we're gonna go one and two and you can follow along it's gonna be one and two and our right hand is going to draw a big circle using our pencil grip with the bottom crutch tip all the way around yeah okay and that's going to create a cone with the top part of the flag and my flag is going to kind of slide out from my armpit and kind of go to my shoulder blade so you can see it's touching my back still as we do that we're going to step around with our left foot three and four we're going to grab with our left hand we want to grab <laughs> really high up and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to grab inside of my other hand with my palm facing my butt. Okay, so I'm grabbing on top of the pole right next to my right hand. Okay, I'm not a tab, but I'm as low as possible. One and two and three and four. Four. If you do it fast, this the cone should keep the slug out of your way. Three and four. From here, we're going to step out with our right foot and then bring the crutch tip shoulder hip. From seven and eight. Now it's our front now, so do it with me. So we're going to go one and two and three and four and four and is when we grab on five we're going to step back with our left foot and then we're going to do the same circle that we did on one hand but we're going to use our left hand to push up five and all right now from here five and we're going to bring the flag up six we're going to grab bunny hand so palm up a bottom tape and we're just going to toss a double pivot right from here it's a double. If you cannot do a double, that's fine. Just do a single. And then the toss would be seven and eight. As you release, so five and six and seven and eight and one. Catch on one. We're just gonna bring our feet together. So six and we're just gonna be back in like second. And then on seven, as you release, bring your feet together. And then as you catch on one, step out with your right foot. With the feet, just looking at the feet. So we're here at two. One and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, one. Stepping out. <laughs> Let's just do that eight counts together. From, from the beginning, facing that way. So do it with me. So we're going to go. So again, we're starting in a lunge. My hand on top. So we'll go five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight one 
Cool. I'll just face this way. That's our front. So I'm just helping you out. From here, we're going to do a cone and we're just going to start running. So the feet really, really don't matter. Caught on one. We're going to cone. Two in. We're going to do a saute on three over our left shoulder, leading with the crutch tip. So three in. And then you just kind of you just kind of run the rest of the way. So three in, four in. We're going to bring the flag up. We're going to grab money hand again. We're going to set ourselves up for a cross toss or a J toss. Caught on one. Two and three and four and five and six. Let's go ahead and catch flat, but then we're gonna bring it to down on the thing. Yeah? So this is one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Six. <laughs> and then from here we're gonna turn and seven and eight. And, and now we're ready to push going in the direction that we're ready. Let's go from the beginning to there. We're gonna go five and six, seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six money hand seven eight catch one two and jump and money hand out five six and seven and eight and we're ready to run. Sorry, you guys, I said catch on one. We're gonna catch on nine just to keep my count pressure consistent. So, again, that's our front. We just caught count nine. We're gonna count 10 and jump on 11, 11 and 12 and out on 13. 13, catch 14, 15, 16. We're ready to run. Let's just take that 16 from the beginning. That's our front, so do it with me. So five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight catch nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen catch fourteen fifteen sixteen we're running down moving on from here we're gonna push up Sliding our right hand from tab to our left hand, and then back down to tab. One and two. We're gonna slide up again. Up on three. We're gonna let go of our left hand, and then we're gonna grab inverted with our thumb facing towards the top of the flat. Okay. Here we're gonna push up, and you just want you just want to think that you're just doing that. Right? You're just pushing the flag back up, but we're gonna turn first from here. Okay. So. You want to think about your index finger pointing towards the top of the flag. You're just going to point down, point where you came from, point up, point, point to where you're going, and down, push up. Yeah, so I'm just drawing one big circle as I turn, and the flag is staying in my toaster. One, two, three, four. The turn is a little fast, so we're going to go five and up six, grab seven. And we're pointing to where we're going. We're grabbing left hand with the crutch chip, and this will just give us a little nudge so you can bring it in. Seven and eight, and we're going to do a small little cone to where we're coming from. Let's try that again slowly. We're turning. Now we're ready to run where we're going. So we're going one and two, three and four, five and six. Seven and eight and let's, let's go from the beginning. Let's go back to where we know. So that's sixteen plus eight. So five and six, seven and eight. Grab one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, we're going that way. One, two, three, four, push, five, six, grab, seven, and eight, and. So we just finished. Five, six, seven, eight, and. We're gonna push up on nine with our left hand. Left hand's gonna grab with the crutch tip. As the flag comes down to 10, we're gonna let go of our right hand and we're gonna grab it like this. Okay, so our thumb is facing us. We're grabbing palm on top of the flag. 
So you want to do that as the flag is coming out. So we just went eight and nine, ten. From here, we're going to do like the same move twice, but it'll be a little bit different. So first, start with a big sweep and then kind of do like a little cone and like bring the flag in, right? So as I sweep, okay, my crutch chip is going to pass through my armpit. I'm going to keep the flag away from me until I need to grab it and pull it in. So again, 9, 10, that'll be 11 and 12. You just want to get a cone sort of going there. I'm not going to do the turns yet because I just want you to look at me. Now we're going to push down with the left hand. Right hand is going to go like that. Now our right hand should be awkward. And then what are we going to do? We're going to unwind. Instead of doing like a full cone, we're going to use like our left hand to grab the crutch chip to just kind of like push it, to push it up. So we're going to push, we're going to grab a bottom tape and then grab a top tape. And it does take a little bit of both arm strength. So make sure you use both hands. So again, no turns yet because it's a little confusing. So we just did five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, do a cone, 12, and then push. 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> I'm going to say as I do um, 13, 14, so it is 9, 10, 11, cone, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to say our left hand is going to grab the crutch tip because it'll make it a lot easier to control. 13. Okay. And then as the flag sweeps around again, we're just going to switch our grip. So thumb facing down to thumb facing up. This way we can just bring the flag up. You don't have to add the turns. So we just went five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. That's the direction we're running. We're going to go 11, 12. We're going to open to the back because that's the back. 13, 14. We're going to turn towards the front. 15, 16. So it's just one turn, essentially. Okay, that's the front. So you're still doing it with me. That's the front. So we're going in that direction. 9 and 10. 11, 12. Open to the back. 13, 14, open to the front, 15, 16. Let's try it from the beginning. So two sets of 16. So our hand, thumb down, turn to one, grab this up. So we're going to go five and six, seven, eight. Push one and two and three and four and push up five and six. Seven, eight, catch, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We're running in that direction. One, two, push, three, invert, four, circle, five, and six, seven, eight, and push again towards where we're going. Nine, ten. Find it up, 11, 12, open to the back, 13, 14, open to the front, 15, 16. Next part, I'm gonna roll up the flag for this part. You don't have to, I'm just, I roll up the flag so you can see the pole without it getting in the way. So we just went, 16, we're gonna do a slice. One, 45, so my left hand with my head, my hand is extended. So we went 16 in our toaster, one, we're going to push and then we're going to go the other direction. We're going to push up with our right hand, two, then we're going to let go of our left. We're going to grab over three. So again, we went 16, one, two, three. We're going to go down. We're going to push with our right hand, push. So that we're going to leave the, the bottom crutch tip. Okay, we're in our toaster. Okay, so point down, this one points up. Our right hand is grabbing away from our butt. Then we're going to point towards the end zone, that crutch tip, and that one. And then we're going to point down with this crutch tip, point towards that end zone, bring it up, and then unwind. So again, 15, 16, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6. And to do this move, you guys, you really want to keep your wrists a little bit loose while still keeping some sort of strength in your arm. Okay, and you want the flag to just kind of flow around the body. And then your hips 
and your upper torso should naturally follow. Since we brought the flag up, our thumb on our right hand is facing up and our left hand is currently grabbing like this. We're gonna do a turn on our left foot. Okay, and as we turn, we're gonna change our right hand from here to this, okay? But, and we keep the same angle, right? We turn, we'll create a cone, and we change our right hand, yeah? Then we're gonna do another cone right in front of us, okay? And as we do that, we're gonna use our right hand and our left hand is now gonna switch to money hand. We turn, switch our right hand. Then we do a cone to the front. Switch our left hand to money hand. This sets us up for a cross toss. To cross toss, you wanna to catch, kill, down. Okay, and it's a pretty quick one. It's nine and 10. Let's just do those four counts. Five and six, turn. Seven and eight and nine, 10 and. Let's try it together. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, down, one, two, three, around the body, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and five, ten, and. Guys, I wanted to add a little bit of feet because I looked at the video and I do some feet. So as we bring it up, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, one, we're going to step across with our right foot, okay? We're going to step across with our right foot, one, two, and three. Yeah, so we're going to go one. Two and three. We'll go one, two, and three. And then from here, we'll just do the around the body stuff. Four, five, and six. Turn on our left foot. Seven, and switch our right hand to over. We do our cone on eight and. Switching our, le our left hand to under. Our money hand. And then we'll bring our feet together on nine, ten, as we release. Cross up, five, and ten. And then step out again. We're gonna step out with the left foot. So let's go from the beginning. <laughs> We're gonna go seven and eight and one, two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, catch, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fifth, sixteen. We're already in that direction. One, two, three, four, push. Five and six, seven, eight and nine, grab ten, eleven, face the back, open to the back, third, four, face the front, sixteen. We're gonna step on one, one, two, and three. Around the body. Four, five, six, turn. Put your right hand, seven, eight. And we switch our left hand out on 9, 10, 9, 10. Step out with the left as we catch at angle. Okay, we're gonna catch left hand at tab, over, right hand under at bottom tape. Only eight more counts. All right, so we just we just step on the catch, 9, 10. We do, we're gonna do around the body, but this one's different. So it starts the same way. You pull down with the right hand, crutch tip, we're leading, right? So crutch tip down to the end zone here. We're gonna start grabbing away from our butt because it's fast. But as we do it, we're gonna switch to this grip, okay? Now, so from here, watch with the crush chip. Instead of, instead of the silt coming in front, we're just gonna draw a big circle with the bottom crush chip and then come back to flat. Yeah? And one more time, nine, 10. Getting the crush chip behind us to flat, grabbing away from our butt. We're gonna just draw a a circle with the bottom crux tip to the front. Yes? So we're gonna do a circle with our right, with the bottom crux tip. As, as it comes around, we're gonna switch our right hand to thumb up, okay? So we're just doing this, and then our left hand is going to slide like this. From tab, to just kind of, let's say splitting or top tape, depending on that, just how long you are. But I think splitting is fine. So we're here, on facing away, we're gonna go circle, switch our right hand. As the fly goes to angle, we're gonna slide our left hand up the fly. Okay, so all together, we do nine, ten. We're gonna go one, two, and three. Yeah, and it's just kind of a bit of a lunge, lunge there. So, huh, huh, and huh. We're gonna turn over our left shoulder, kind of do like a step in, step out. 
Okay? The flag is going to go down and up and down. Okay? So slowly, we just play. Circle, three, four, and. Let's just do those four counts from nine, ten. So you just count. Nine, half, ten. One, two, and three, four, and. I'm gonna go up, touch to behind, down, and do a little rowboat. Six, and. From here, we're gonna push up and do a thumb flip. Seven, and. And then the body will do the rest as we go to the slam. Five, four, and. Five, and. As we do the rowboat, we're gonna start stepping with our right foot. Six, and. Okay. As we do the thumb flip on seven, seven. Okay. Then go into PK and so five and six. Step with the right and seven and we're gonna step across just the feet. And this is the turn. We did four and five and six and seven and eight and one. Four and just the flag, no feet. We're gonna go five and robo six and thumb flip seven and from here we're just gonna go down up we're gonna grab with our left hand a bottom tape down on one right hand comes up to rock on this position so together slowly let's go really slow because i know that was a lot go back to nine ten one two three four and five, six, and thumb flip, seven, step across, and eight, and one. Okay, that's it. That's it. One thing you need to remember, guys, as you do this toss, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it's kind of a stop, but you still, it's a catch and a go, too. But it isn't, it's not. It's not that, okay? It's not a catch and go. It's a catch, kind of stop for a second, like catch the toss and then move on, yeah? So again, it would be seven, eight, nine, ten, and one. If you're catching more like 10 and-ish, and then this around the body, one, two, three, we'll initiate on one. So you, you have that like 10 and a, move on one. So you guys, I know that that's a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It is a lot and it's fast, okay? But we're gonna go through the whole thing slowly. If you need to go back, go ahead and do that. I'll try putting timestamps for each set of counts. So again, the 16 counts, the first 16, the second 16, 10 and eight, plus one. Now that we have that, and I, I'm pretty sure I got most of the details in there, we're gonna go over the music with counts. I don't know what that sound is over there, but we're gonna just work with it anyways. Okay, <laughs> there's a little bit he says, Carol on the crown. And you can hear the pianist go da -da 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 on that high note. That's seven, eight. That's when you unfurl your flag. We know that the count structure is what? Seven, eight plus 16, 16, 10, eight, one. Okay. So I'm going to play the music. And there's really no like five, six, seven, eight. It's just kind of, you can hear the piano go da -da 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 -da, and then you just pull, just pull. Is your call ready? So I'm going to count this time. We just kind of got to, we just got to be ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, out, seven, eight, catch, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, fourth, and turn, and turn, run, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, step, one. Two, three, four, five, six, turn, cone out around the body. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Now, this is the point where it's like, oh my god, I can't do this. No, take your time. It's okay. This is world class drum core work that you just learned in like 30 minutes. And that's okay. It's a lot. Again, I'm going to say, you know what comes next go back and watch the video make sure you get all if anything just get the flag okay you can add the feet and body later um but you can do it 
Okay, and it's a lot of fun when you finally know how to do it. It's a pretty fun piece of work. First part is probably the hardest just because of how fast it is. And sometimes that flag, you know, you your hand can't grab. So, and I will be going not show tempo, but kind of like all at once because before I was going pretty slow, but we're going to do it all at once. Five and six, open seven, eight and one and two and three and four and five, six and out. Seven, double, eight, catch, nine, 10 and 11 and 12 and out. 13 and 14, 15, 16. We're still running. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight and nine, grab 10, 11, face the back and 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, and 3, 4, keep going, 5, and 6, turn 7, switch your right hand, switch your left hand, 8, and toss 9, 9, 4, 10, 1, Drop circle, two and three, four and five, six and seven and eight and one and five and six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, catch, nine, ten. 11, 12, out, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, turn 7, and 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. If you can't do it with me, that's okay. Go back, take it so I did that slower version, right? So do that one, know the work, and then you can do it at a faster tempo. Drum majors Preston Chase and Andre Mathis is your core ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one, two, and three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Honestly, you guys, I would say the hardest part is the beginning and then the ending. Getting into this part, okay? Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but my, the flag is changing velocity again. There are parts when your both hands are on it, and when one lets go, it's probably a push. Okay, it's pro it's not probably just gonna be like, oh, you just let no no no, it's probably a pull. Okay, get the flag around from here. I'm pushing again to get through there. Okay, so you really need to make sure that you're using both hands if you're having trouble getting it up to speed. Whew. Okay. Drum majors Preston Cheek and Andre Mathis. Is your core ready? Performing their 2011 program, Rockstar, Drum Corps International is proud to present Carolina Crown!
I'm gonna do one final run of just me. Hopefully I can get through it, yeah? So, yeah, here we go. Performing their 2011 program, Rockstar. Drum Corps International is proud to present Carolina Crown. So I'm currently editing the video. Um, I had a little thing at the end, like I, I said something, but I'm just going to rephrase it. So first of all, have fun. It's super important that you have fun because um, it's easy to get frustrated when you're trying to learn work and you can't do it. Um, on YouTube, there is a setting if you want to slow it down. If I'm still going too fast, you can click on the, the gear and then just like change the speed from one to like 0.75 or something. Um, if you have any questions, please message me on Instagram or comment down below and I'll try to update the description if more details are needed. One of the things I also wanted to say is that I was not in this show. I'm going to say that again. I was not in this show, so this work may not be 100% correct, but I did watch a lot of practice videos, so I have a really good gist of what's going on. I tried putting as much feet uh, or footwork in there as much as possible and body quality um, that I could see in the video. Another thing I want to say was that I'm really sorry that I did blow through some of the more difficult skills like the double 45, the J-Shots, and the cross toss because I'm assuming that you do uh, have some color guard experience and I didn't want to go too much in detail into that because that's just something I'm assuming. So maybe in the future I'll be able to upload a tutorial that covers that um, or those sets of skills but for now I'm just assuming try your best, be careful. Again. Within the description, there are multiple timestamps to each of the sections. Um, if you are having trouble and I'm still going too fast and you just want to focus on a certain section, you can just go to the timestamp and then kind of work your way backwards to get the previous set of 16. So for example, the first timestamp talks about the first set of 16 and the second timestamp talks about the second set of 16. So if you work your way a little bit backwards, you should get that follow along um, for the first set of 16. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the content. I really love Jam on the Crown and maybe someday I'll expand to other drum chords, but for now I'm just focusing on my home chord because I do know most of this work from Carolina Crown. So again, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends. Do it do it with your friends. Social, social distancing, of course. Stay safe out there um, and have fun. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.